Been having trouble with a connection inside that box today. We're not sure why. If you get a little too sharp, it gets a bit uneven over there. It's only about an inch difference there. It's about two feet difference up there. And he's off to the side. It'll work just fine. Still got to work on doing some leveling around here. You can see, got a nice little water run. Call it right to there. That's good for me. Hauling fertilizer today. <laughs> She's slippery. Oh, we had some traction. No, we don't. There we go. Trying to do things in the morning when it's good and firm. Because, as you can see, by about 1 o'clock, things get kind of slippery, kind of slimy, kind of muddy, a lot of gross. We got that old 1370. She's kind of relegated to use in my uncle's yard and fertilizer, kind of just as a backup logger right now. It's, uh, it's got a little, needs some bushings done by the sound of it. A little chatter to it. But she's had a lot of, a lot, a lot of bushels through it in the day. Our fertilizer blends are almost identical this year. We were trying to tweak them a bit and we we're also trying to get away from floating because we think we've been losing a lot of, uh, of nutrients, in particular nitrogen, just the gassing off. They call it volatinization. Well, now that we got the new drill, way back there, we've decided that everything's gonna go down the pipe now. Pretty much everything in the sideband. Uh, we're not really gonna split anything yet. We, we've talked about possibly doing it, but yeah, we, we still gotta learn how to use the drill before we plan that much. Really the only difference between our two blends right now are that one of them has about 25% of the urea is ESN, which is the, the polymer coated nitrogen urea to, uh, to give it some lasting so that like not all of the urea nitrogen is available right off the hop. It takes a while for that thing to dissolve and then get porous. And we found that in the cereals, it really helps to boost our protein. We get very comparable yields, but we were struggling to build protein for a few years, so we started doing that. At least one of them. Yeah, it's got some weeds in that one. Should be going out every next week. So that will have one more, or sorry, two more going in here in his tandem. I'll have one more in the semi. That'll pretty much be full. Oh, 
Okay, today is Friday, December the 15th. I think yesterday was the 14th. Feels like the 13th because we're having a really bad day. Uh, it started, and I'll show you this in a second, with Dad just walking around the yard and he sees there's a big puddle of antifreeze under the semi. Ah, shit. And like big, it looked like a lot. And I'll, I'll show you. But we looked at it and we tried to replicate it. I put another, I don't know, gallon and a half, almost two gallons in the reservoir. And it'll drip occasionally. And we're not sure if it's just the, the way the semi's parked because there was a, looked like a little puddle inside the fan shroud. And then it's like, oh, it's tipped this way and it's dripping out. I don't know. But we can't get a serious enough drip to make me think that it would lose that much in a day. Because there wasn't any out there or day and a half. Wednesday afternoon I came out and plugged in the semi because I was thinking we were going to be hauling Thursday and then it ended up canceling. But like I drove by it yesterday. I didn't see the puddle. I'm pretty sure I would have. Dad said he was out here yesterday. He had to shoot a raccoon same thing he's like I walked right by it didn't notice it so we're not really sure we can't get it to replicate itself I'm concerned that I need a new um what is he up to I, I need might need a new rad in this dad was out here with the tractor and the snow plow or snow blower afterwards but you can see there's a there was a really good puddle right around here of antifreeze but I just have a tiny little drip right now. Like, I thought the block would be empty the way it was, but it doesn't seem like it. Um, <laughs> it's one little drip over there. It hasn't leaked serious enough yet. But Dad found we had some heated grain from this bin. We put it over that bin and he found it was like dripping on top of it and there's some sprouted grain so we're like, oh we better move that we're trying to figure out what the hell to do with that started pulling wheat out of that bin only pulled 100 and some odd bushel out and we started getting the stuff off the top which is good because it's flowing so we're going to try and do some segregation here with the limited resources that we have so we're gonna have to put what I've got onto the grain cart. Dad's got the Delta track running. And then we're gonna hopefully be able to pull enough out of that to get good grain. And then we'll figure out what to do with the Delta or with the, the nasty sprouted stuff later. Sure looks low. Oh, I guarantee that's low. I brought it over here with the 4650. Well, we're not sure how, but once you got in the bottom, froze up the auger so we couldn't get it hooked on. So now we're good. We had to dig it out. Boo boo with that guard that, or the chain on the guard. Well, the stuff that's on there, the stuff that's on there is spoiled, not just heated, but spoiled. So, yeah, it's uh, not very fun because it's not, it's not even. It's so bad you can't even feed it. So we're gonna dispose of it. And you know the deer might scrum through it. And then you know, disc it up, let it you know, I'm sure some of it will be eaten and some of it will germinate. But a lot of it, you know, probably probably eighty percent is spoiled. Like, 
we had a grain cleaner we might be able to salvage some we don't so we're gonna gonna scatter it around in a few spots this was wheat last year like this field out behind so dad's gonna hit it in some uh some sloughs and some low spots and you know it'll work in over there it'll be fine so we got the top off of that bin for those of you that don't know hopper bottom bins actually all bins they draw from the top first it's kind of just uh in a, in a funnel action so like essentially it starts at the very bottom but once that one moves the one on top and the one on top and it kind of draws from which is good if you ever have a problem with the top of the bin which is usually where most of the problems are i'd say usually it's not always the case anyhow we pulled about i'm gonna have to guess about 800 bushel off and uh now some of it got spread, some of it we're, I think we're just going to send a sample away. It's not as bad as the first bit. Kind of got blended on the way down. Uh, again, I don't even know if a grain cleaner would have taken care of that first load. It was pretty bad. Um, yeah, as far as the, the coolant leak, it's not happening. I don't know what to think of it. We... It, the truck's been sitting right in this very spot for like an hour and a half idling. There's been two drops, and that was those two drops I showed you originally. So I don't know what the hell's going on. I haven't put any red seal or stop leak or like this little peppery stuff. I haven't put any of that in, and I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what to think on it. Good news, kind of bad news. Um, good news is we got all the spoiled stuff out. It came off that 800 bushels off on its own. Uh, the bad news is that it kind of made its own little greenhouse effect going on up top. So the grain was warm enough. We obviously don't have nearly enough aeration around here. It, that the heat would rise and then it would condensate on the cool. I'm putting off of the look. Like I'm pointing the right me, but on the slope, it would condensate and then run down. So we're getting frozen chunks from the, the ring. But what's in here is more than good enough for feed. It might even hit a number three. We're just gonna screen it all. Just get the frozen chunks out. It took us all freaking day to deal with this. Yeah, now we're finally going the right way. We're getting stuff back in the bin. And, uh, we'll have it on air for a couple days here. Everything should just, between getting turned over a couple times and getting cooled down with the air, I think we're done with this catastrophe. Or near catastrophe. 